Hi everyone, I'm Chris and I'm a Google Cloud Engineer. Today I'm going to talk about some projects that you can leverage to help build your skills and then showcase them to potential employers or job progression. These projects are suggestions that have come from me. I think they're ones that will help develop skills by getting hands-on. I still think that is one of the best ways to learn is by by all means consuming the documentation but then before carrying on to in-depth um, more technical deep, deep dives, I would suggest building an actual project and working with something that you have learned. Please remember to like this video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe, and if there's any content that you want me to create or you would like me to talk about and discuss, I would be happy to do so. Just leave a comment below. Your feedback is always appreciated. These three projects that I'm going to be talking about are three separate projects that you can build individually or build upon each other. Diving straight into it, the first project is going to be creating a static website using the Google Cloud Console. Now, this is a fairly straightforward task and Google do have documentation to support this as well. I have no doubt you will find blogs uh, online and GitHub repos where people have carried out this task. It will consist of creating a new project, a compute resource, a storage bucket, and updating some DNS records. This would expose you to some of the basics of cloud compute, networking, and storage. The second project that I would advise creating is a cloud run service. Now you can create this as a standalone cloud run service, or you can actually create this service to interact with the static website that you created in project one. For example, you can create a service that interacts with a website that submits a form for new users and then follows that up with an email. Cloud Run is a very powerful serverless compute service. What you would need to do is create a project for your Cloud Run service. You would create a image. You need application code. And if you're competent to do so, you can program this yourself using a language such as JavaScript or Python. Um, there is limitations on the languages that Cloud Run will accept, and you can find the information in a link that I'll post down below. Um, or you can just scour the internet to find an application to do what you want to do and to interact with your static website if you're going down that path. Um, you would then take that application, you would then containerize it and store it potentially in the artifact registry in Google Cloud, and then also then deploy your Cloud Run service with that container image, and you're off to the races. So now at this point, you have a static website deployed using Google Compute Resources. You have a Cloud Run service running deployed using Cloud Run services. They are interacting with each other through whatever means you may have gone down, for example, submitting a form and a email notification. The third project idea that I would do is create a pub subtopic for your compute resource and your Cloud Run. For example, you can configure the Cloud Run service to send a message to the pub subtopic whenever a new user submits a new form. You could then create a separate Cloud Run service that subscribes to the topic that sends you an email with the data of the new user. To carry this out, you would create a new pub sub topic and configure the subscription using the console. Cloud Pub Sub is a very powerful tool, and if you are able to gain some fundamental skills and how that works, that will really support you in future cloud projects. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for sticking around. And this is going to be the best tip that I can give you if you are looking to really leverage these projects and showcase them to potential employers and or career progression. I would take everything that we have gone through and um, I would take the compute resource with static website. I would take the cloud run service with the um, subscription service and I would take the pub sub topic and I would take all of that and transform it into Terraform. Once you take all these resources and you configure them in Terraform and you can deploy that in a dynamic way, you can showcase that on your GitHub page or your GitLab or Bitbucket. But this is then something that potential employers can review the code, deploy themselves, and if it works, then you are able to demonstrate your skills as an engineer. And whilst I wholeheartedly believe certifications are beneficial, if I'm able to show that I can do the work, that is equal weight, if not more, to the certification. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Again, I appreciate your time and effort. If there is anything else you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment below. Have a good day.